It is actually crazy to think that I came home from school in 2014 and on my binge of watching Gophers Mod Sanctuary videos, Bro Jewels Mod videos, I happened to get recommended a trailer for the port of Sedanine in Skywind. And then Skyblivian came about and I've done a couple of years of college, I'm a YouTuber now, I'm also 5 years older and it's actually insane to consider the whole process, to think that something once so small has grown into this big of a thing. Sky Oblivion is probably going to be the most important thing for Elder Scrolls fans on PC to support, because this is our chance to point out to Bethesda Game Studios what the hell we enjoy in our fantasy RPGs and what we really want. Sky Oblivion aims to bring the Skyrim modern touch to the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, a game I know a lot of people find hard to get into when they aren't used to playing older games. It's not because you're a casual, it's because you aren't used to it. Morrowind and Oblivion have very outdated systems in gaming and Skyrim definitely made stuff simpler but this is such a great opportunity for everybody to gain from, especially the gamers both male and female who haven't experienced the rest of the franchise. Morrowind and Oblivion were so very important in giving the Elder Scrolls franchise the face they have today and while I'm not going to insult Skyrim, I do love the game to bits, I will forever love the limits Oblivion gave us. The system where major and minor skills dictated your character's limits was too good to be true and Skyrim letting you be the best at everything just is a bit too much for me. Personally, everyone is entitled to their opinions, but that's my own. Whether they implement this system or not, there is still the world, the atmosphere, the characters and the absolute gems of quests featured throughout Oblivion. The guilds are some of the best in the franchise, the side quests are great. I can't wait to see a new wave of players come in and get to experience what I got to over 10 years ago. I've been playing Oblivion for so long now, there's very little I can experience for the first time time, but that won't stop you. You the player who haven't played Oblivion. Ah, it gets me excited thinking of the new wave of players we will get in. I'm not entirely sure when they will finish. I am not one to ask because I know it's a big side project taking their time and they're kind of just doing it for us and for fun. But at this rate, we most likely should have it before The Elder Scrolls 6, simply because that game is never coming out and judging by how Starfield goes, which I hope goes well, uh, the 6th entry will hopefully eventually come at some point. So one of the main reasons Sky Oblivion will be such an important thing to release is it will show Bethesda Game Studios how much love the fanbase has for their franchise, and with the flocks of new players, they can join in on the fun too. The debates between Morrowind players, Oblivion players, and Skyrim players has gone on for so long now that so much conflict has come between the game's systems, it's hard to know what team you should be on when you're a new face. My personal opinion, play every Elder Scrolls game. Game. experience it all. I'm in the middle of Morrowind right now and I'm loving it. I recently have been playing Skyrim again for the millionth time. I love it, they are both great games. But this gigantic mod might make Bethesda rethink some of their decisions. It isn't anything new that Bethesda Game Studios have changed things in their games last minute. It's been done constantly and maybe this will influence them. If they see the forum posts alive and well, if they see the increase in sales between Oblivion and Morrowind, it might help them rethink some ways to make the next game more fun. Of course, it might have no effect at all, but what if? Hindsight's 2020, my friends, it can go either way here, and I hope it does. I would really, really love to see not only the new players see Oblivion for how great it is, but Bethesda Game Studios to do it too. And Sky Oblivion has to. It's a remade Oblivion in Skyrim's engine. Who the heck wouldn't want to play this? New assets, updated graphics, that teaser trailer came out the other day and Sky Oblivion looks better than what Skyrim does today. It's insane. They showed the Oblivion game and my little 12 year old heart cried at seeing them. There in an updated setting and seeing the Imperial armor, ugh, it's like a dream come true getting a remake of Oblivion like this. I remember a couple of months back, might even be a couple of years, but I think someone from Bethesda Game Studios, maybe it was Todd, they said they wouldn't remake Oblivion because they would rather focus on their future games. Imagine getting Fallout 76 instead of a remade Oblivion. But sure look, if that's their mentality, that's fine. I'm also very glad they aren't because because with this mentality mixed up with the team at Sky Oblivion, I believe the team making Sky Oblivion will do a hell of a better job than them. So far it's looking like it anyway, the biomes and landscapes are absolutely stunning. I cannot say this enough, it has given Oblivion such a modern touch. And I was watching through the Q&A stream the other day and the animations for the weapons were all just great. I didn't have the audio on, I was kind of just looking back and forth, but I seen uh, the main character, it was near the Kavach gate and they like conjured a weapon and it like was in front of them and they grabbed... 
Oh, it's so cool. But as much of a fan as I am, there's probably no single game out there that can beat my love for the Fort Elder Scrolls game, and it's something that changed how I seen gaming forever. Something that really gave me hope in the future. I know we've had some bumps with gaming here and there, but Sky Oblivion is next level. It's not a mod for me anymore, boys, it's a game that I am ready to play, and while Bethesda Game Studios might have built the tools, Sky Oblivion will be the foundation and everything else in bringing Oblivion to the next stage of its life cycle. Also, we get to see the adoring fan for all his worth in a new engine. Who doesn't want to see that luscious ice cream hair? Now that's an ice cream I can get behind and give a bit of a lick here and there on a hot day. Anyways, my friends, please go show support to their YouTube channels, their forums, their websites. I'll link as much as I can below. These guys are absolutely wonderful and the Elder Scrolls community will grow even further after this. Make sure to flick the bell icon and subscribe if you haven't. I do Elder Scrolls stuff all the time, have done for nearly 5 years and plan on continuing to and this video might have sounded a bit off script, it's cause it kinda was, I have a script but I don't think set words can explain how I feel about a project like this. So hopefully I didn't sound like a toddler. <laughs> but anyway my friends, thank you for chilling by, I hope you all have a wonderful day today. The sun's out and it's looking pretty lovely, but enough babbling, check out Sky Oblivion you and was. Have a great day, great week, great month and a great year and I'll see you next time.